Yo, yo, yo. We are back to talk some more Marvel's Avengers. So I want to give this game a little bit to marinate. So I could give my honest opinion. And now I feel it is marinated enough. So we're going to get into it. The bad, the good, and the so-so stuff. Had to make a category for so-so stuff. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because some of the stuff was... Now, y'all already know what order we finna do this in. We finna start with the bad, then hit the good, then end on the so-so stuff. You know what I mean? Kind of end on a semi-light note. You feel me? Take a little bit, of, sip of this cranberry juice. <clears throat> I was parched. Don't you hate when somebody do ah, and they do it like all extra long? Uh, but anyway, so like the so the party or the group online play, whichever you want to call it, multiplayer has problems, obviously. So first they snuck in this little create account thing, but that was kind of dirty. But you know that's like the way stuff is going now. Everybody wants you to have an uh, account with them. Everybody wants your data, whatever. In my squad, we didn't have a whole bunch of disconnects uh but we did have some so like one common thing was if you was finishing a mission and you know somebody in the party decided they wanted to make a snack run or you know what I'm saying a, a toilet trip you was gonna have some problems because normally it would get if if everybody doesn't hit launch and next and continue it'll get stuck on the traveling the destination screen and then you would have to exit the strike team create a new strike team um and, and usually that was a way to you know get it back going but a couple times at the end a few guys actually had it blue screen on them and you know we all had to reset our apps and all that good stuff another thing was the boss fights um i'll use taskmaster as an example if you gang up on them it's either lagging or you can't find the boss you're trying to fight like you you can't really track what's going on um it's kind of ridiculous uh whatever uh the low times they definitely a little bit on the long side but you know being that i suffered through the launch of you know for honor and, and anthem i know the launch times could be worse because this it was terrible uh yeah, um, and then the last, the last bad thing, and this is a big one in a different lane, the money. This game is screaming, give me your money. <clears throat> Let me get some more cranberry juice. Screaming it. So the takedowns got classified as a cosmetic, right? whatever they could have why not make the takedowns built into the leveling system why do you have to market the take anyway um it was classified as a cosmetic well i don't get a whole lot of choice in the matter takedowns are they're very enemy specific and you can't just drop them like if you think one of them is lame unless you got another one for that same type of enemy like that must be the disney because they don't want to if you fight one of the humanoid enemies i guess maybe they don't want you chopping off you know the head that'll kind of be a new lane for disney uh but the epic ones cost 1200 units so if you buy the 5,000 unit pack, which actually gives you 6,000, you can get five takedowns. Oh wait, that costs as much as the whole game. 
five takedowns cost you the price of the whole game. But you see, we did this to ourselves because we was complaining, saying, no, we don't want the season pass stuff no more. Uh, we don't want it no more. I was one of them people too. No more season pass. That's stupid. But I guess they said, okay, fine, no season pass. Uh, we'll just really get up in them cheeks. Like, in the, in the year of the pandemic where a lot of people is low on funds, Y'all gonna drop that nonsense? Like, bruh. And it's not like they're that great. But anyway, let's get on to some of the good stuff, right? So it's not oozing with good stuff, but the good stuff that it does have is nice. For starters, the gear system, they followed the KISS philosophy. For those that don't know, that's keep it simple stupid. The item perks are described in pretty plain language. They also have this like auto equip where it just throws on your highest level gear. Now that's not now that's handy when you you know you're trying to level, you're just leveling the character. But when you start getting close to, to maxing, you want to pay attention because it don't seem to account for the perks that's on the items. So it can throw away something that's actually really good because it's rated one power lower because the perks are locked. Um, but in that same vein, why no multi select so you can mass get rid of items? I feel like that should just be a, th a thing. Um, but anyway, next, uh, the character moves is nice. They are what you would expect them to be on the individual side. Uh, the combo attacks are kind of, they kind of lack a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the individual attacks are pretty dope. Uh, Black Widows, uh, I think a little more, something a little more creative could have existed for the Widow's Bite. Um, but I rock with it because the rest of the the rest of her character is dope. It's just that just is what it is. Um, and the game isn't too easy. I appreciate the challenge. If you go out there trying to skip levels, you are gonna get wrecked. A suggestion for improvement though: the AIs need a little bit of work. It's nice that they prioritize like coming to heal you. But you should have the ability to set them to go find the objective or go find a gear set. Um, and to speak on the, yeah, we'll get to the gear and the loot later. Um, uh, and the, the story and the cinematics, they was nice. Like, I, did, I do still think the story mode was nice. And I think that kind of affects my opinion. Um, caused a little bias in my opinion towards this game because I, I did not I enjoyed the story. I don't know why, but I did. Um, and so then we can get into the so so stuff. So let's list them. So, and then we'll go into detail. So, no duplicate characters. It's going to be controversial for some of y'all. The amount of content, the update timelines and roster. And Captain America's movement and the looting. So duck duck great up. We're gonna start with Cap's movement and the looting. Cap's movement is garbage. We all know <laughs> he can't fly. But this is a video game. You know what I mean? Have have Yuri get to work and static shock that damn shield or something. He he needs to be able to he needs to be able to run a little faster. Um, that would help. Or he don't, he don't have to be like the Flash, you know what I mean? But he can he can he y'all can do something. Or or make it so that he can run on every wall. Like his wall run is kind of useless. Like unless you are on that one map. Like give me more to do with the wall run, please. Uh, it, it, if you if you play cap most of the time the hat this 
the squad is waiting on you so a lot of times I'll skip a certain loot box to head towards the next one to make sure you know I'm there on time and everybody ain't waiting on me and please give his let his running attack be able to break some glass I mean the glasses are already like it's already cracked glass like I could crack a glass door with a hammer trying to tell me cap can't with that vibranium shield come on y'all stop with the madness uh, but looting <clears throat> but it's a it's a good concept hold on let me smoke and very juice <clears throat> but the concept is good you got the ability to loot on all the missions but it is a little repetitive one enemy one agent to free then the puzzle doors but yeah Th Hulk and Thor shouldn't be the only characters that can crack a glass especially like this roster is going to build out people should be able to or or make it that loot is in other places that maybe Thor and Hawk can get you know what I mean even out my ability to find loot that's terrible um but uh moving on the the no duplicate characters thing that made it down here to the so-so from a strategic standpoint like is good it keeps the team somewhat balanced so you can deal with uh, the questionable looting <clears throat> and the handle like the onslaughts properly of different sometimes you get aerial if you're surrounded by a whole bunch of aerial enemies you shouldn't you should have like a, a black widow or iron man on your team somebody who can shoot them down a little easier if y'all both got cap well there's a chance y'all gonna be in trouble right <laughs> or if there's if there's two widows like where's your tank you're gonna die um but the uh, the amount of content that it dropped with if you played the store you probably feel like i mean like it was decent like just like now i'm getting to the point where i'm like okay what else are they gonna drop for me like the other game modes and items they said was gonna be dropping like very close to launch it's time <laughs> it's time for that very close to launch you feel me um uh the update timelines like what's What's up with the war tables? Are they gonna be once a month? Like past schedule? Um, that, that's all just kind of a, a gray area that they really go into. They just didn't really go into. So yeah, man. Overall, I think I think it's gonna land at seven out of ten for me. And and it's it's holding on primarily off of like the the ability the fact that it's the only game out there right now that gives you the ability to just jump on and get it cracking with the squad like you can right now outside of that this game would be it would be hurting so i'm i'm a little worried for it in a longevity sense i don't know how long it's gonna last especially if that assassin's creed drop and it's hitting like this should be hitting they're gonna have some problems yeah, you're gonna have to come up off of uh, these ridiculous uh, skin prices, and and don't get me started on like the Hawks outfits. His fits was kind of dope. I appreciated uh, that, but it's lacking on a lot of the other characters. Um, so I hope I hope y'all think about some of these other things when y'all got to Chala cover because I know y'all gonna I know y'all gonna drop the Chala for us. <laughs> please do him right please do him right um that's the one thing about this game is that the characters and being able to get it cracking with the squad with those move sets that's what's holding this game together but they got to get it together in these other areas because if that brotherhood dropping does what it's supposed to do it's gonna make this game look like it never dropped and that would be sad because of how many years we waited for it but i apologize it's this one got a little bit long i had a lot to get out there i had to drink a lot of cranberry juice um let me know if y'all agree or disagree with anything that i said um i hope no feelings are hurt 
uh, but I think I, I tried to make at least the points that I thought was relevant uh, t- to me that I that I felt if it was something else that went on that I didn't hit on that you thought I should have uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section uh, thanks for stopping through kick me with your boy the as usual peace I'll see y'all in the next one Self-security terminated. Hurry before it re-engages. destroy the associated cell, but hurry. Get sucked off my chest!